let's have a look at the disgusting doctor setup. First up is a hex perk. It is called Huntress Lullaby. Survivors have a 6% aggression penalty every missed skill check. Every time you hook someone, the sound of the skill check and when the skill check appears will be less. And if you can get 5 hooks, there will be no skill check sound. So they'll have trouble hitting skill checks. Distressing, terror radius is increased by 26%. You get more blood points in the deviousness category. Third up is overcharge. Every time you kick a gen that's been worked on, it'll have a tremendously difficult skill check. And failing the skill check will re result in an additional 5% generator regression. Unnerving presence, 10% greater chance of triggering the skill checks. And the triggered skill check success zones are reduced by 60%. So it would be a lot smaller... For them to hit Calm Carter's notes, considerably increases your terror radius in treatment mode, so you're going to get them missing more skill checks. You also get a madness at the bottom, a couple of madness bonuses. They'll, they'll hear heartbeats a lot. Um, order Carter's notes, increase the madness inflicted by your static field by 25%, so they'll go up a stage of madness a lot quicker. This is a nasty build to play against. You will get, you might get people <laughs> disconnecting because they don't like it. But I had two rituals to do, so with the doctor, so I brought him out. I don't play the doctor, so I know he's quite unfun to play against. So you're going to stay in treatment mode as much as possible, and your terror radius is going to be very large. And with the add-on as well, this will make your terror radius very, very big. So we're going to try and get a few. Get his, this guy's madness level up. Well, he's running close. Drop the pallet and we'll smash that one up. So you want to spread as much madness as fast as, as you can. That is the aim of this build. And with Huntress Lullaby, they're going to miss a lot of skill checks. And the of course, running unnerving presence will make the skill check test zones 60% smaller. So, it will make the survivor's jobs extremely difficult. So, we're going to put this guy on the hook right in the corner map, out of the way of my totem. And just lullaby is near the centre of the map, so we want to try and keep them away from that. Switch back into treatment mode ASAP. And make wait for the screams. So enough of me talking. Onwards and upwards with a video. Enjoy the disgusting doctor.
Now they're going to try and do a session with friends down here. I noticed them all coming together, a big three of them. They're going to try and block the hook. So if you want to do that, not a problem. I'll take the two, the two of you down. And we'll hook.
So by here, I don't have a hook nearby, so I'm kind of hoping the hook underneath him will be will respawn. So we're gonna have a little look around. Kick any gems while we wait for the the hook. It doesn't look like it's coming back. There's a three minute wait before the hooks respawn. And it's not coming, so... Two choices, let him bleed out. Or pick him up and try and carry him. So that's the third one done. Like I said, this is a disgusting build. Still haven't respawned the hook. And he's saying no, no, no. So he's nearly bleeding out, so I'm going to try and carry him to a hook, which is the basement. And what I didn't know, this guy is running flip flop, which means his recovery bar will go towards. <laughs> It's wiggle out me there and he manages to get off. So where are you going to Whitey boy? Where are we going Mr. Dwight? I know he had borrowed so, uh, not borrowed time, I think he had dead hard really on in the match so we're gonna plop you in the basement and that's, that's the game wrapped up they didn't even find hunter's lullaby so they had no sound warning at all that the skill chat was coming so yeah Disgusting Dr. Bill, it is disgusting. Now we got both rituals done. So we had a nice 75k for those two. Nice and easy. Job done. Double XP is finishing today. Or tomorrow, early tomorrow. So plenty of points to be had. We had lots of points that game. So if you do want to try the disgusting doctor build, you know what to run. And let's have a look at the survivors. We had some insta heals. Some nice uh, setups there. Thanks for watching the disgusting doctor build. If you have enjoyed, please give me a like and I'll catch you on the next video very, very soon. Thanks guys and girls. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.